Jim was the man that was responsible for acquiring this threshing machine and horsepower out in Nebraska. And if it weren't for him, it wouldn't be here. I knew that it was unique and that, that it was not a common thing to have in Iowa. And so I was a successful bidder and uh, uh, for both the uh, thresh machine and the horsepower. They spent hours digging old grease, dried up grease out of it. Probably used two or three gallon of penetrating oil and everything to get her to go. And finally we got it working and then we went to thrash. The way we try and operate it is the way it was originally set up to be operated. As the horses go around, that generates the power up to the machine. One or two men stand on the platform here. The farmers are on the wagons pitch the bundles onto these side pieces. The people on the platform cut the string, feed it in to the cylinder, which is the, the big cast iron drum inside the machine. Everything is powered from this cylinder. The cylinder is a drum with fingers and the, what we call the grate underneath has fingers also, but the teeth on the cylinder pass between the, the teeth on the grate, and that's what strips the grain from the straw, from the stem. There are belt pulleys that go around different pulleys. The size of the pulley determines the speed of whatever it's powering. This is the shaker arm that shakes the, the grain underneath. Inside of these tubes is a chain that, that holds little paddles. And as the thresh grain comes across from underneath the screens, those paddles pick it up, carry it clear to the top, and then it empties into this long spout. And the spout is what delivers the grain to the sack or to the wagon. Beyond that, if you see this long conveyor that takes the thresh straw away to be used however the farmer decides. It takes a special horse in order to use the threshing machine with a horsepower like this. Not every horse can do it. Um, you got to have a horse that's going to listen to you, uh, can be used to loud noises and everything, know when to pull, when to slow down, how to step over everything that's going on. Just something that's got a well, a brain between its ears pretty much.